The boat so many of you have been begging Traxxas to make is finally here, the Spartan SR, which stands for self-writing. Let's get into it. Well, that's pretty bright and wild. That's the way Traxxas has been rolling lately with the graphics. Love the new vibrant colors on this bow. They actually offer it in three different styles. Obviously the version you see here, then there's one with some black in it, and then one with green in it as well. So you got three options to choose from. I'm digging this one. It kind of looks similar to my previous Spartan, which I really like the graphics on that one too. But this, this is pretty wild. I like it a little bit more. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section below, but let's get into the hull and details. I've gone over the boat, guys. I'm going to tell you the differences between this one and the previous version, and we're going to go out and have some fun with it in a little bit, but let's talk about the hull. So the deck has a few tweaks to it. It's got the same basic shape, the way the sides flare up. The center section looks almost the same. Kind of goes down more to a point here on this boat uh, than the previous version, but the major change to the deck is right here for the canopy. So as you can see, there is no body clip securing the canopy on it. They've got these spin clips, which is really cool. Actually, you need a special tool to go and turn these. So it really locks down uh, the canopy here so it won't fly off, so water doesn't get inside. They've got a rubber foam strip around it to help seal it off, but I like this a lot better. Not only does it help make everything more rigid, you, you, it's just much more secure. It's not gonna fly off in a crash, which happened a number of times with my previous Spartan. Luckily, I always retrieved the canopy on it, but uh, I know a few people that haven't. My buddy Tony Phelan that we used to go boating with, he lost his to the bottom of the local lake. It can be, it's got that low sleek look to it, but that's pretty much all I could tell that has changed on the top other than this hole right here. And I'm gonna to get to that in a minute. The hole itself, uh, I flipped this thing over and flipped over my previous Spartan. Everything looks the same to me. The lines on the bottom. I mean, they even carry the graphics down on the bottom, which looks really cool. The major change is right up here with the hook, and that's for when you go and get the trailer. All right, let's just spin this thing around. Luckily, they give you a, a boat stand in the kit, and here's the transom. As you can see, it's still got the turn fins and the trim tabs. They are a bendable style, so you go adjust those by just bending down on this trim tab. As you can see, there's some openings. I'm gonna leave you hanging on that one. And then over here to the running hardware, some changes have been made. So let's start off with the rudder. They used to have a aluminum L bracket for the rudder to support it. Now they got this composite piece. And at first I wasn't sure, you know, I, I like the aluminum stuff to be honest with you. But then I saw the size of this and the way it's all braced and I just felt the, how firm this thing is. It's not moving. So I do like that, you know, at least it's very rigid, but we did lose out on the bushings for uh, supporting the rudder. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about that change up there. They do have the aluminum rudder. It is knife edge. This is where the water pickup is as well for the water cooling system. And then they got this really heavy duty dual shear steering bracket uh, to go made up to the steering linkage. So Although, you know, they've gone to composite, it does look pretty heavy duty. So uh, the other thing was they changed out from the aluminum L brackets for the strut support. And now they have this one piece composite unit, which again, it's got a lot of bracing to it. So I'm sure it's cutting down on some costs a little bit but at least they didn't sacrifice the bracing that these uh, pieces provide. The strut looks very similar. They might've changed the bearing size because I did read that they have a larger diameter flex shaft in here. Uh, might as well talk about that. There's a large diameter flex shaft stuffing tube, the brass tube that it all is housed in. And it comes out to the, the prop coupler and then the prop. Now I do wish that they gave us an aluminum prop. I'm gonna ding Traxxas on that. I really wish they gave us an aluminum prop with it. They did give us a spare, uh, but I've broken a number of uh, Traxxas props before. That just would have been a nice upgrade to have in the kit. Steel rod steering link, uh, they got a Traxxas end and a steel pivot ball there, and then a rubber boot to help seal everything. Now here's the tool to take the canopy off. And I mean, if you guys lose this, it's you're just gonna have to find a big flat blade screwdriver. I bet you even a quarter would fit in the slot here. You can back off on these security clips. Uh, I've actually already backed off on it, so let's pop it up. I'll show you guys underneath. No foam flotation on this, so I, I wish they did that as well. Uh, but this does look like a much firmer canopy than the previous one. The, the previous one was just some ABS, but you can see this has a little bit of a skeleton structure to it, so that is a lot more rigid. And you can just see those spin clips 
and there's where they key in on the boat. Now inside, you start to see some of the good stuff. You see this big channel right here, and this is the self-writing system. The water goes in through the front, fills up this channel here, and helps to roll the boat over if you go and flip it. And then once you start to take off again, all that water is gonna spill out these holes in the back of the boat. Really simple, we've seen it done before, it works really well. From looking at some of their photos, they also have a foam inner structure in here, which really helps with the support of the boat, makes it much more firmer and gives it that extra flotation that it needs during self-riding to make sure it doesn't sink on you. Then down in the bottom of the hull, they have like this whole plate structure going on. You can see the side braces coming up. Uh, the batteries are now centralized. We've got three straps to hold them down. So you still have that ability to move the batteries forward and back to adjust the bias, uh, help get that front of that boat up out of the water, get some high speeds out of it. And then the radio tray system, this looks like it's nice and easily removable. They've got a composite tray, basically. That's your motor mount and your brackets for your speed controller and receiver. All stainless steel hardware throughout this. But the receiver box over here, that's waterproof. It's got all its seals and everything. And you can see the coupler down there. They give you a couple of wrenches and even grease so you could maintain that. Very important to do that. The motor's a 2400 kV long can motor. You can see it's got the water cooling jacket here. This is a silicone cooling jacket. There's your lines coming in and out. Uh, actually, it goes from the rudder to the motor in through the speed controller and out through the side. It actually used to exit the other side on the uh, original Spartan. Then it's got the VXL 6S Marine speed controller powered by Castle logo on there. Castle makes some great stuff. Check out those large capacitors. It does have the ID plugs. You're going to need two 3S battery packs to power this. And then uh, for the steering, it's got the 2056 high torque servo. I believe that does have plastic gears on the inside. And then for a radio system, they give you the TQI. That was pretty cool. You can put the link module in there and do some monitoring through their link app. And finally, you know, in the kit, you're going to get your instruction manuals, your parts breakdown, the marine grease and uh, tools that I mentioned before, some spare canopy clips, and, and as I mentioned earlier, the prop. So there's the rundown on the Spartan SR 36 inch deep V brushless boat. We need to see this thing in the water. All right, here we go, guys. Got the new SR out there, and the batteries are all the way in the back, so we get maximum speed out of it. And that means it also gets a little touchy. And a little wobbly to it, apparently. That's what those trim tabs are for. This is stock out of the box. And that wag is kind of just like a stock Spartan, or original Spartan, actually. Oh, I keep hitting leaves. Well, guys, it wasn't leaves that slowed the boat down. Looks like I actually broke the prop. And of course, I left the spare at home. So I'm back here at the workshop. And while I was checking this out, I noticed that the strut actually moves as well. So you're gonna to wanna to pinch this bolt down here, but uh, I'm gonna go swap this prop out and head back to the water. So I'm on day two with the SR and I thought I'd start off with a speed run this time. Actually speed test it yesterday, got 49 miles an hour, was running some old packs. I got some fresh packs. Let's see if it hits 50. Got 11 satellites, is good. I'll start this thing up. All right, here we go. Nice calm water, look at that. Oh, you know what? We've got TSM in this, so we got to kick this down. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Little sway. Turn the TSM all the way down. Moving. Nice. Much better. Yeah. Get rid of that TSM, guys. <laughs> Maybe for low speed stuff. That looks good. Awesome. All right, let me bring this back in. Check our speed. Stop, read. 49 again. Why don't we always get one mile an hour lower than the Traxxas advertised speed? 
I don't know. It obviously it goes fast, but I just want to have a little fun with this thing, spin it out on purpose. Cause this thing just like rips out of the water once you spin it out. See that? It pops right up and out, takes off. This is fun. Yeah. <laughs> Way cooler than just like a speedboat. You gotta have a blast of this. Look at that spin out, pop up out of the water. Yeah. I don't know if you can see how to do the stick, but that was cool. Yeah, spun it back up and out. Look at that. All right, this is this is just as cool as speed runs. Spinning and flipping. Well, no, no flipping yet. Actually, I haven't flipped it yet. I can't even test out the self riding feature because I can't get this boat to flip over. Nope. That looked cool, but I couldn't get it to spin out. Oh, there we go. So it's filling up, flipped over. Perfect. That's what it's all about. The SR. Killer. Awesome. strut is is fixed in position now this boat is running way better than my first run love it yeah <laughs> oh that looks so good this is the Traxxas boat we've been waiting for Guys, obviously I had a blast with the new SR. This thing rips. I had so much fun going back and forth in the water, just high speed runs. And we saw in the GNSS, it went 49 miles an hour. And maybe that was 49.9 miles an hour. I, I don't know how that thing rounds up, rounds down or whatever, but this thing is fast. And I'm kind of wondering if my Gen SS is a little bit off because every vehicle I test always seems to be one mile an hour slower than the advertised speed. But nonetheless, this thing is fast. It's so much fun to drive. And beyond just speed runs, I mean, I was just spinning it out on purpose so I could punch the throttle, watch it pop up and out of the water. And then it, it's pretty stable as well. That new CG on there, I think it handles better than the previous version it's harder to spin it out and actually roll it over and if you do roll it over obviously it's self writing now which is absolutely awesome works perfectly uh, it just takes a few seconds to roll over we definitely didn't lose any fun with this updated version it's, it's just as fast just as fun as the previous version just a couple things that I wanted to point out to you guys and one of you have seen already uh, I did break the prop uh, and I, I really wish they gave us an aluminum prop with this bow I think it's what has set it over the top and, and seeing that they cut a few costs why didn't they do that I, I don't know but I, I'm gonna get an aluminum prop for it and the other thing is I was getting some water in the boat and I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from I actually went and tested the water cooling system there's no leaks in that I don't think it's coming up through the stuffing tube where I think it's actually coming in from is right here on this edge if I take the canopy off you guys can see that the canopy is pinching down here in the back and then right here there's no real lines and there's a little gap in the front here maybe that's where the water is coming in from maybe this uh abs deck needs to come up a little bit higher or they just need a little bit thicker of a, a foam tape here to help prevent that 
That's my guess as, as where the water's coming in from. And finally, the strut. I, I gotta ding those guys on not having that tight from the factory. That sh that bolt should have been tightened down. But it did make me take the, the strut apart to check out that composite piece. And it kind of looks like we could actually adjust the strut angle just a little bit. And maybe that screw actually helps pinch things down. But I think it needs to be a little bit longer. And the top screw secures the position once it's on that angle. Uh, but that's just a guess. But nonetheless, definitely check out that screw if uh, you pick up one of these boats. Make sure that's uh, clamped down so that strut isn't moving because it's got to alter your performance. All right, guys, let me know what you think about the new SR in the comment section below. And if you're wondering about the trailer, I'm going to post a separate video about that. I'll have links for everything in the video description below, and we'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.